No comment. Um, so as I was saying earlier, press the X button. Uh, welcome to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Re Chain of Memories. Chain of Re Memories. Remamories. Mm hmm. Developed by Disney Interactive Studios. I am. Oh yeah, I'm fully recovered so, uh, from this my is, sickness. Yeah. So Yay. we had we had another we had another lull in uh, recording dates because somebody was sick again. Um, and now I am partially congested yet again, <laughs> but I'm not sick. Go. I'm just congested. Congested, but not sick. Yeah. So sick. Mm. Infected. No, no, no. See, uh, congestion uh, is when uh, the you, okay. Sorry. For anybody out there who's a little bit squeamish about this kind of stuff, well, we've kind of been sick the entire time, but, like, <laughs> what I mean is, <clears throat> normally what happens is, it's uh, not that bad, don't plug uh, your ears. <laughs> so normally what happens is, um, you always have mucus, you always have, um, just stuff in your, uh, face, in your body, but you don't notice it because you're used to the consistency of it. Um, when you're congested, that's because you're... Fuck, I forgot consistency. to say crust. We just started! I know, but like... We're, just still, we're still recording. Yeah, we're still recording. So, um, okay, good. So... Oh. Might want to put that mouse somewhere else. So the, um... The thing is... What ends up happening is... If the consistency changes... Or feels thicker than you're used to... Then your body starts noticing it. That's how you get, like, the runny nose... Even though you're not necessarily sick. So. <laughs> Mucus, hi. <laughs> You know what else makes mucus? Eels. Oh. Eels are delicious. <gasps> Does this mean mucus is delicious? Are you angry? Shut the fuck up. Two. <laughs> Sorry, you might have to bleep that out. <laughs> yeah, I got two. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, you're too lazy. <laughs> I don't know. Watch, well, watch annotation right here. Either saying, no, I'm not too lazy, <laughs> I just left it in, <laughs> or B, <laughs> you bleeped it out. <laughs> and and or. Like, or maybe there's no uh, annotation and I don't give a fuck. Like, one, one of them, one of them. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit Ow. about both of you fucking. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so clearly you want this Let's Wait to be completely no, silent, right? No, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey. Wait. I'm sorry. Oh my god. No! They can't do this to me. Oh my god. I don't have any ones. Oh wait, I do. I got lots of ones up here. Uh, I'm sorry. Can I, can you guys forgive me? No. Uh. Don't talk again. <laughs> <laughs> now I just need... 99, 99, Jesus Christ. Of anything, so... Um, okay, I'm gonna go... S I guess it's time to start grinding? Oh my god. I thought this game had enough Oh, uh, save all the roulettes, because you're gonna need every single one of them at okay. this point. Okay. Because you're giving away yeah. so many cards. Oh, oh my god, I wanna keep my black rooms. Get a few... Get rid of the one, that's not gonna do much. It puts a dent in it. Every dent matters. Two. Puts a zero. I can't. It won't let me. Oh, you won't let you. All of a sudden, Metallica's in my head. I blame you. What? I said, what? all of a sudden, Metallica's in my head, and I blame you. Why? How? Because every dent matters. Okay, time to go. That's... I mean, that's not how the uh, lyrics go. I know, but, but the melody. <laughs> oh, wait. I gotta check my duck. Uh, sorry, say again? Oh yeah, the Randall deck. Um, damn. The, the Randy deck? The Randall deck. I guess I'll start with the, okay, I have to go to the Berserker deck. Then I like how you completely overhauled the Berserker deck, but you still like it. <laughs> you have to use a six, huh? I should have done the zero. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna try to get another one, right? Yeah. I mean, more garbage. Just, just enough to open that room, right? Yes. You need more garbage? Here you go. Oh, God. She missed the joke. Um. <laughs> Good. This means she doesn't want your garbage. I've been playing, you know, like, since I, I played, so sorry, I played too much Resident Evil 5 worry, that my you. instincts got, like, verted. Almost. I was like, my brain is like. What happened? My I played Resident Evil 5 yesterday. And without my, Aaron? No, no, at home with my sister. Yeah, so without Aaron. This is it. I mean, he's not wrong there. <laughs> I played. I haven't played. I haven't played Resident Evil Five as much. Are we there. starting Resident Evil Six like this Wednesday? Oh. I hope you guys enjoy that. I was it. I mean, we played it already. <gasps> yeah. Wait. So we know what's going on. It's not gonna be a blind let's play. Yeah. Wait. Am I only invited to blind let's plays? God damn it. <laughs> 
Is it no, because but so far, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, actually. <laughs> every single one I've, I've uh, yeah, started, every uh, single one you've done on my so far, it was on blind. It was pretty much blind. Yeah. So like the Conquerors, Back Conquerors, Day, all Star the Fox Zero. Stuff. Well, actually, you were blind on that one too, right? Partially. Oh, Remember, right. I had like uh, two episodes of knowledge. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Super Smash Bros. No, no. <laughs> By the way, uh, small annotation. Apparently, uh, for the uh, ship stuff, you could actually just unlock them without the amiibos if you play through the game and uh, get all the uh, rewards and stuff. Uh, a friend was telling me about that after the fact. Uh, not that anybody who watched that one probably is watching right now, but hey, in case you're curious, yeah, you don't need to buy those amiibos. They help, but you don't need to buy those amiibos. It's over. If anything, I feel like the enemy was actually hinder you as well because it makes it makes it harder. I'm sorry, did you say hinder or make it more enjoyable? I mean, <laughs> sorry, uh, makes the game more harder, just that. I, I like the game being harder though. Like, not all the time. Like, in, in games yeah, like I'm this- saying that as like the opposite of saying like, oh, it makes the game easier or something like that. In games like, oh god, that, that looked like glitch. <laughs> it was a glitch, but it looked Damn like it. glitch. Yeah. Um, no, uh, in, in games like this though, when everybody's like, oh, you, you're, uh, <laughs> you. you should have. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. So, what was that about you not being sick? Oh. I'm this, the one who's congested, yeah, I'm not uh, sneezing. No. This, <laughs> uh, you know, signs when you just need need to sneeze? No. I don't. No! Hey, you got a second one. I didn't need that, but okay. You won't. Yeah, uh, jeez. Yeah, the more the merrier, right? Uh, yeah, I could go. I can't go back there. Because, uh. Did I. Please don't let that through. Uh, something about sneezing, or Star Fox, or congestions, or amiibos. No, no, no. Hard, difficulty, difficulty. Oh. So, uh, in games like this, when the difficulty is, like, raised too high, it's like... Like, even though, like, these are the kind of games where everybody's like, Oh, the highest difficulty is the most enjoyable. I still say bullshit. <laughs> it's like, if a game is long and it has a high difficulty, then no. Because when you get to the end... It's a struggle, yes, that struggle is kind of entertaining for some, but when you have to take like five days to complete the final level, and I've had friends literally give up at that point after playing the entire game on the hardest difficulty, just because they couldn't figure out how to beat the final level. Uh, when, when you hit situations like that, then it's like, why do the hard, high, hardest level? Because all you're doing is making it less enjoyable for yourself again. If you're the type of person who enjoys that stuff, though, far be it for me to stop you. You enjoy that, and you keep on enjoying that. That That's worth it. I was not excited. But, honestly, games like this, I feel like you get more enjoyment out of just playing the story. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So Whereas, I think you don't like Dark Souls. I, I do, but that's a different matter. It's like, <laughs> Dark Souls is story plus it's intended to be hard from the get-go, so, so that the normal difficulty is the hard difficulty. <laughs> And the harder difficulty is like, oh god, why are you torturing yourself? Yeah. Kind of. It's like, that, that game's different, because that game isn't, like, a long game. That is game's it? been- Is it not? Kill me. Damn it! It's like, yes it is, but it's more so- yeah. The game itself is kind of short, it's just difficult and technical based. This is it. Where it's a lot of execution that you have to get in the first place. A lot of, uh, pattern mem uh, memorization, a lot of, uh, understanding of the, uh, way the game is. The game is set up to be played that way. Games like Kingdom Hearts, they're not really set up to be played that way. They're set up to be, uh, you do stuff like this, you run around, kill monsters, and you get some story. Whereas, Dark Souls, at first glance it looks like it is, but the core mechanics of that isn't so much, hey, you're just randomly killing monsters, it's you're finding out how to beat this thing, and it's, the death part is fairly unique. You have to learn the patterns, you have to learn how to deal with it specifically. And the point is learning how to do that without getting hit so much. Whereas that's less of a thing in games like this. Uh. I see it less. That has to be a really high card. Yes, yes it does. Or you could go for that zero because we need roulette rooms. But I already have tons of roulette rooms. You already have like a zero roulette, don't you? Yeah, you do, but I'm just saying it'd be nice. Okay, there's I... a seven treasure that we can go for. But it's that's not... the highest size Seven problem. anything is... No, I mean that's the highest size spot. I might have seen an eight. Oh yeah, there's an eight there. Okay. It's moving so fast, I'm starting to go cross eyed. <laughs> Wait, oh my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And. Don't try to time it for her. Damn it! Because that happens. I didn't, but okay. You were trying, though. Dang it, Aaron! <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, you didn't close the door all the way, by the way. Uh, I did? Oh, whoops. Uh, so, um. 
so... This is it. I feel like Dark Souls is one of those games that encourages you to play it on hard, whereas games like this kind of discourage you, even though people still like it on hard. And the other thing is, when we're talking about like Star Fox Zeros, the uh, Zeros, Zeros, <laughs> sorry, Little Gear Solid uh, Star Fox, uh, <laughs> that's a thing, for all. Um, <laughs> cringe. Um, no, but like, uh, going back to the Star Fox game, even though it took us a while, the levels are short enough, on average, that um, the hard difficulty isn't necessarily... It doesn't necessarily feel bad. It actually kind of feels enjoyable to a degree. In my opinion. What, what, what did you think? Uh, about Star Fox Zero? That, and then also just difficulties in general. Uh, I feel like, um, as long as it doesn't like pad out the gameplay, then I'm perfectly fine with difficulty. <laughs> what was that? So, in other words, uh, games like this where difficulty tends to mean that, uh... Mean more of a challenge rather than tediousness. They really just yes, and in my opinion, I tend to find that, uh... Lulz. I tend to find, like, um... Games like this, uh, RPGs, Kingdom Hearts, they tend to just bloat HP values. Yeah. Uh, from Mind you, that's not the only thing they do, but at the same time, it I, feels don't, like it. I don't really like difficulty, uh, being that high in Kingdom Hearts because... This is it. It, it, the the mechanics, while interesting, are not enjoyable enough for me just to flat out enjoy it. Also, I'm announcing it now. Uh, I'm still trying to get Eric to do a Let's Play of uh, Final Fantasy X with me. <laughs> it's never going to happen. But I would like to play Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy VII. With me. It's going to take forever. Uh, I kind of want to do it. I also kind of wanted to uh, do it with Emily. Like the three of us, maybe after Woolly World or yeah. something. After yeah. Woolly World, or something like we we might have to find like uh, some like break period where we could just get a huge chunk of the uh, game uh, grounded out. We could be playing it. See that that's kind of the, what part of the pitch that I was trying to give initially. Um, and also, I might actually change the game that we're playing based off this pitch. But definitely, I want to play a Final Fantasy game with you guys. Okay. Um, it's okay. I don't Final know Fantasy if you... game. It doesn't have to be ten. Kinda, yeah, but there's a, there's a set limit to the ones that I'm willing to play. Um, Alright, like what? Like, I'll, I'll, my, get to that, I'll get to that in a moment. I definitely have set limits as well. I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, right. And you'll see why I said A Final Fantasy 7 after I get to that. A Final um, Fantasy 7? You'll see. I'll get, I'll get to that. So, um, so, one of the things uh, that I uh, wanted to uh, do is I wanted to have basically... Um, the three of us each pick like a character or two of like Final Fantasy X or something, oh. and we would uh, dictate what the character's uh, move was during that turn. Oh, that would be interesting. Actually. Yes. Um, so, like, say if we're playing Final Fantasy X, which is the one that I originally uh, wanted to play, that means um, each one of us pick one of the characters. I call Orin. Yeah, I call Lulu. Okay. Um, and. Whenever that character shows up, that player is, uh, the one of us three is the one who actually is like, okay, that character is me, I'm dictating what that character is doing. Is it, uh, a time, is it a, hold on, is like, is it like your, your turn, you attack, their turn, their attack, or is it like a bar where they wait to fill up? Final Fantasy X is the, um, the one where, uh, it is not active. Okay. So it's easier to do it that way. All right. But there is one other uh, way of look, uh, looking at this, and that's why I said A Final Fantasy VII. So, uh, sorry, not A Final Fantasy VII, A Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> so Final Fantasy VII is going to be hard to do because of the active system. Yeah. However, there are active systems that are set up for multiple controllers in Final yeah. Fantasy VII. I do not remember which ones, uh, so I'll have to actually do some research on them. But there are actually a couple Final Fantasy games that are actually multiplayer. Does it Mind you, player one is the one who's still navigating the map, but... I, I just thought that it'd be interesting to in help us get further into it. Okay. Does also, it necessarily have to be a Final Fantasy game? Could it be also any other JRPG as well? Uh... Okay, I know, so I know initially, a JRPG initially, that's like multiplayer that all of us can play. Uh, but, that, uh, that, ta the Tails game? Oh, I love Tails. Yeah. How many controllers for Tails? Uh, four players. Nice. So all of us can play. We just need four players. Uh, I have Symphonia, so okay. Uh, I, have, I have a story about the Tales series that I want to get into. 
um, with you in a moment, but um, before I get into that, I do want to say, the reason I wanted Final Fantasy X was, um, like, Final Fantasy X was my first Final Fantasy game, so, um, I will, well, okay, kind of my first, because I get Final Fantasy X and I immediately switched to Final Fantasy VII and then finished X after that. Um, I basically temporarily stole it off a friend and then they, I gave it back to him. <laughs> and then I bought it myself, uh, years later. Because um, I just wanted to play that back. Uh, and they didn't re uh, like Seven a lot because they couldn't get past the very first boss. I, yeah, I know, it was hilarious. <laughs> was but at the time, they didn't have a, a save card either. So they would keep on going to the first boss and dying because they didn't realize they could save. <laughs> they didn't even know how to save because that was their first Final Fantasy game, so they didn't understand the save system. We were like, like I was like 11 at the time and they were like uh, 9 or something like that. So it was kind of understandable. Um, they live down on the street and we just out hang out a lot. That's the first place I played Melee, actually. Um... <laughs> walls. <laughs> but he still gets hit in the worst way possible. Um... Yeah, you can't beat a 2! So, Final Fantasy X is, like, one of my favorite, uh, uh Final Fantasy games, because it is the first Final Fantasy movie I ever watched. I mean, the first Final Fantasy <laughs> I ever played. Watched. And, um... And while it is kind of on the longer side, like I was saying, like if you're playing it completely casually, trying to just uh, dick around and not trying to rush it through, it takes a while and it would be about a hundred something episodes. But even then, yeah. it's not that bad. Compared to the other Final Fantasies, I mean. Or JRPGs. But the other thing I wanted to note is you have the, uh, the version that has the international system of the Spirit Ritual. Uh, the original uh, NTSC American version was like, one of the worst versions of the Spirit Ring. <laughs> oh, so yeah. they updated it so that... Yes, and then they updated it further for a hard mode Spirit Grid. But the thing about the hard mode Spirit Grid is you, every character starts in the center and can build immediately towards what they want to do. Oh, is it like is it like Final Fantasy XV? Uh, I'm trying to remember fifteen because I don't think I played it. No, I, no, I obviously didn't play it actually because it just came out. Oh. Um, it might be. Um, but like, the thing is like, um, the way that it was originally set up, um, is you, uh, start where your character is, where your character's strengths are, and you go down their route of the spear grid. But when you're done with that, or if you get unlocked, or if you have teleports, you can move to a different character's position in the spear grid, and start learning their moves and their abilities and things that they can do, gaining their stats that they would have gained through level ups and stuff like that. Okay. And that's, that's part of the, uh, joy of the spear grid system. The game could be played completely without that, mind you. Um, so it's not just limited to that. It, it's meant to let you enjoy the characters, let you flesh out the characters on your own. And I've mentioned before that I really want to play a physical Lulu. I've always wanted to. <laughs> just having that cute little physical Moogle, Lulu. That cute little Mo uh, Moogle uh, plushie just punching people to death. <laughs> it's like, 9999. Nine, nine, nine. I want to see that. <laughs> and it's possible. That that would be interesting to see. Yeah, that's one of the but reasons I, why losing I, I my I can't imagine like, it would be like, a lot of grinding to do that at the same time. It would. Uh, I was doing an individual uh, level for that. and uh, Sorry, an individual run for that. And I was using the uh, classic six, Spurgrid. Not uh, like the classic international Spurgrid, not the American version. Um, and it was taking a long time because Lulu was not able to uh, get the damage that she needed yet. Because she needed a lot more in the Spurgrid. But uh, then my Ooh, friend took it. the system back. Um, took the controller that I bought, I have Fistus, I bought, and then um, sold that in the system Ooh. and the game. Wait, well, let me leave. So I, I, have an I, idea. Was, I was unable to uh, get that. <laughs> it felt the worst. What are you doing? Grinding. I have. She switched to her grind deck. Uh oh. I want to try it out. Freeze. Welcome to Triangle, Triangle, Triangle. Freeze. Hey, I told you that that's what this game is after a while. <laughs> Take this. Uh, Spray you. But yeah, I think Final Fantasy XV Spray. is somewhat the same, except it doesn't have to do with individual characters, but rather like aspects of the gameplay. Like instead of characters, it's like your car or yeah, yeah, or like, I, or like camping stuff like that. Yeah. Final Fantasy XV definitely looks like an interesting game. It's just. Yeah, it's... I kind of dipped out of the Final Fantasy series because I just felt disillusioned. I will say this. There is one. There is one Final Fantasy game that I wanted to uh, look into, and it's the uh, the the cute one where the two uh, siblings uh, could sit on each other's head. What? Yeah, that's the thing. Okay. <laughs> so well, yeah, they, I... they go to this different dimension, 
And this is just spoiling the beginning, it's not the full. Game okay. Because it's part of the game set. Alright. They go to a different dimension and they find out that there's a chibi version of themselves that they turn into. And then, um, you're able to actually, uh, unchange it from the chibi version, which is the version that, like, is the people around in the world that they're in. Take this. But they also get, like, these little pets that are, uh, small as well. So, uh, you could have the characters split up into separate characters, or you could stack them up and have them uh, all be a single character with all their abilities combined, basically, or something sort of like that. And it looked like the cutest thing ever. I was like, oh my god, this Final Fantasy game looks so amazing. Why is it a third, uh, like, a non-main series game? <laughs> it sounds like a non-main series game. It is, so. but it, it looks so, it, lo it even has, uh, 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 settings where you can basically set it to be a uh, uh, traditional Final Fantasy menu uh, uh, selection and stuff like that. Because okay. they have non uh, they have a non-traditional uh, menu selection. Oh, and then they have like one. the traditional one that's Watch basically the Final Fantasy 7 one. The oh, I Sora's am gone! On fire. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> the Sora's on fire! I can see that. We don't need no water, let the Back motherfucker off. burn. <laughs> 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 this Sora's still on fire! Yeah, I say you're fighting fire with fire. No, they're not using fire, they're using darkness. Goofy! Goofy. Wait, going back to, uh... You said something about like how like, you got out of touch with Final Fantasy, or like, uh... Kinda like... Dissolution. Dissolution, yeah. I will say that playing Final... Uh, I was always pretty much like disillusioned with like Final Fantasy up until Final Fantasy 15. No, that's, that's understandable, because like, um... There's kind of several different arcs in the Final Fantasy uh, life. You have the original Final Fantasy games, which admittedly sometimes are kind of annoyingly difficult for those. Yeah, I, 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 I thought that was they're because so, like... They're so open world feeling that you just don't know where to go, and they're also like the traditional like top-down 2D RPGs, so it, it tends to be a little bit difficult. Then you have the uh, Final Fantasy VII onwards, which is like Final Fantasy VII through Final Fantasy IX, uh, which is a small chunk of the series where... Um, they were pushing the uh, graphical fidelity of a lot of things. And then you have Final Fantasy X and onwards, which uh, is kind of split up. It's not what? just directly Final Fantasy X onwards. Uh, but I'll get to that in a moment because I want to touch back on Final Fantasy VII and VIII. So, in those games, like, the graphics really were. For its time. They the wanted best. to. Well, not the best. Like, they, they, sometimes they were. But, like, the point of them where they were trying to. Bring as much out of the gra uh, graphics to give you better experience. They wanted to make you uh, feel. Uh, they wanted to make immersed. you feel immersed. Yes, they, like you were wa uh, watching and playing a movie. Back off. Oh, so that this so sounds familiar, doesn't it? So basically because every Final Fantasy. Kind of hey, yes. Hey. So it's like oh, Final Fantasy VI hey. really had that without oh, actually having graphics. And then I stopped playing since I stopped. I, I played the opening like over 20 times already, and I still haven't gotten it because I've had something come up every single time. Um, I've played 6, if I did play 3. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like 3, but 3's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, no, the joke is 3 here is out, is, is actually 6 in Japan. No, it's not. It is. The Final Fantasy 3... I thought 3 was 4. No, 3 was... No, 4 was 2. 4 was 2, right. Yeah, 3 was 6. But we got 5. No, we did get 5. Did we get five? I don't know. Three wasn't six. Seven. I guess one, like... No, no, no. It so, was on the, it so was the Japanese on the three shot. we didn't get. Okay. Japanese three we didn't get. Uh, no, we got one. no. Japanese six we got. No, we got one. We got two. Oh, we leveled up again. Yeah, we did get two. And then we got four. And four was three. Four was three? Yes. <laughs> so six was four? No, give me. Cause I... No, because I think we got five as well. Okay, so six <laughs> is five then. No. We what? didn't get three. They skipped three. Okay. Apparently they can't count to three. No, this three, I remember, I remember there was like over. just the first three Final Fantasy games, and then they skipped four, five, and six. No, they didn't skip that many. No, no, we no, had no, four. No, we mean, had four. No, I'm saying like America, they skipped four, five, and six, and just no. straight went straight up to seven. Because no, we like, had you, four in America. Yeah, our Amer Amer America's. Wait, no, no, sorry. Japanese four is America's two. No, because we had two as well. Did we? Yes. I don't think we had two. We had one, but we don't. I don't think. Let's, I'm looking we got, it up. We, I'm got looking it up. we got the internet. I'm gonna just use all of these roulette rooms because I still only have one. We still have the zero because the zero will be useless to do with this. So I'm gonna use it. 
Is that okay with you guys? Uh, it's up to you. Okay, I'll do it. Goodbye, roulette rooms. I, I knew you well. <laughs> I thought you were playing on like grinding it out to get more cards so that you could use it on this door specifically. I got more. You got more? Ooh, excuse me. You got more now? Well, I will have more. Hmm. Turn was released on the PlayStation. Uh, yeah, but not on like the NES because two originally started on the NES. Yeah, I guess so. Not only that, but I'm not trying to remember the America uh, series a bit. Because I remember vividly that three is six. So two was okay. So you're right. Two is four. God, this is gonna I know, right? Okay, so and then like there's. So now I need to check for five. Wait, wait, actually, I just need to check Final Fantasy 3 and then Wikipedia will tell me, hey, uh, if you're looking for this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost. It's been. 24 minutes, so should we take a break now? Yeah. No, 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 we need to finish this because I don't want this to go <laughs> okay. over to the next episode. Uh, okay. <laughs> finish whatever the fuck this Final Fantasy debacle okay, guys. is. Good. Final Fantasy 3. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh! For what is not my fault? <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> I was right. Three is six. See you next time. The recording. So where the fuck's five? Oh, Can shit. I stop the recording? All right, yes. fine, fine. We'll continue this next part, I guess. <laughs>